Hey guys, welcome to the second part in this Python series on the Django web framework for Python. In the first part we just sort of, I showed you how to make a sort of simple starter template with the Django web framework and that just sort of got our project started and it gave us that default template to enable us to work from and customize later on. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to make a sort of we're going to change the default template and pretty much make it our own. We're going to make our own home page. It's going to be very, very simple. It's just going to say maybe a couple of words or something, but it's going to show you a lot about how the Django applications are actually structured. So let's go ahead and just get straight into it. So this is the where we finished off in the last video, and I'm just going to close out the development server by doing Control c and that gets me back to the command line. So you can see I'm in the tutorial folder here and we've got the Django project inside of that and I'm going to go to my text editor. So the first thing I want to do is I'm, I need to create a Django app. So an app is just one of these folders like the tutorial folder inside my main project root. That's This is the main project folder but then this is what's called a Django app and I need to create another one then so so that I can have something to base my website off of really because this is the main one that's sort of you could think of this as maybe the managing one it's the it's the one where your application is going to start but it's not uh, where you want to really be building the main bulk of your application so to do to start another Django app I'm just going to do Django admin and then I'm going to do start app and then just the name of the app. So the eventual goal with this project is that I'm going to build a login system and maybe even a registration process if we get around to that to demonstrate a lot of the powerful functionality of Django with its admin, with its models, with its lots of cool features. So I'm going to call this accounts but all it's going to do at the moment is pretty much render a home page, a very simple one at that. and. So that's all we need to do. So now when you come back over to the editor here, you can see we've got another folder called Accounts. And this is the second Django app that we've got in our project now. But now that we've created it, we need to install it. So to do that, we have to go to the settings.py file, which is in our, our tutorial folder here. And then I'm going to go to the installed apps list, which is just a list of strings in Python. And I'm going to say Accounts, which is the name of the app that we just created. So that's all you have to do to actually install an app in Django. So it's very simple, that's that's really all you have to do. But now that we've installed the app, we also need to tell the Django project how are we going to get to the new accounts app. So we do that using the urls.py file. So in the browser when we're going to type uh, forward slash admin for example to get to the admin page that's determined by the URLs. So I'm going to add another one here and I'm going to say URL and so the URL patterns is just a Python list of URL objects which is something we've imported from here. So the first parameter that it takes is a regular expression and I'm just going to say it starts with account and then forward slash. So then I'm going to say it's going to include, I'll explain this in a second, and then include takes a string and it's going to say accounts.urls. So what this is saying, I need to import this as well, include here, because include is a function uh, which is built into this module which we need to import. So now that we've imported that, what this is saying is it's going to include when we when we go to forward slash account in our browser it's going to go to the accounts urls so the accounts folder and then the urls file but you may have noticed that we haven't got a urls file so we're going to create that now and I'm going to say urls.py because that's what we named it in here and then I'm going to say from django.com urls import URL. So this is the same one as this is the same first import that we had in the other in the other file. So it's just this same here, same thing here. 
because it's we're we're pretty much creating a similar sort of list. So this is the file in which all the URLs are going to be documented that are going to be handled by the accounts app. So I'm going to create a list called URL patterns. It has to be called that so that Django knows it's for this specific purpose. And then I'm going to say URL. I'm just going to define one URL for one view, which is going to be the home page. So I'm going to say, uh, this is a regular expression, I'm going to just say start and then stop. So together with the first one, it's going to be account, and then it's look, going to look in this for the rest of the URL, and it's going to say start and stop. So all, all that means is it's going to take account, and then it's going to add the rest of it. So if it was something like home or something like that, then it would be account forward slash home. But because I just want it to start and then stop, it's just going to be forward slash account. So nice and simple. So now I want to do views dot home. So views dot home is going to be referring to this views file and then I'm going to create a view here. But before we do that, we need to import the views because at the moment it doesn't know what views is. So it's going to throw an error. So, so I need to do from uh, dot import views. So what that's going to do is the dot means it's going to look in any folder that is at this level for a views file. So it's going to look in accounts and it's going to look for this views file. It's going to look in tutorial in this views file. Uh, if there was one, and if we, if we had any other Django apps installed, then it would also look in those files as well for a views file. So that's really good because it means that we can reference the views defined in other Django apps if we need to. So with that said, let's go ahead and run it and see if it works yet. So to do that, I'm just going to do python uh, manage.py run server. And then, see, we're going to get an error because what does it say? So, module accounts.views has no attribute home. So, what we haven't done yet is define our view. So, we've got the URL that says, okay, if we go to forward slash account, it's going to go and load the views.home. But if we go to our views file, we haven't got a views.home. So, to define this view, I'm going to use what's called a function based view. Django has two types of views. One's called function based views, and the other is class based views. But class based views are a little bit more complicated, so I'm going to use a function based view for this example. And I'm going to say home and request, which is a Django thing. I'm going to do just a very, very simple sort of uh, view. It's probably one of the simplest that you can do. And I'm going to say return HTTP response. And then it's just going to be a string that says home page. So that's all it's going to say on the home page. There's no fancy HTML or anything. It's just going to be that string that it's going to render to uh, the user. So don't forget to import HTTP response because otherwise it won't know what you're talking about there. But then let's go and see if that works. So now our Django server is not giving us any errors like it did before. So we can go to our web browser and see if it works. So this is what we were getting before. If we refresh this, now it's completely broken because what we haven't done is define a URL that says if we go to this. So what we've said in our URLs is we have to go to forward slash account to be able to see the page. And notice it, it gives you a helpful hint that it's checked for forward slash admin and forward slash account. So we can go to that and then we see the actual home page that we created. So in the next one we're going to be building on that by adding a little bit more to our views and, and doing some more really cool stuff just to be able to flush out this application a little bit more.